communications channel in java debugger here you can see the uh, structure of the uh, jdwp agent uh, to serve the uh, here we are discussing uh, command uh, execution to uh, to serve as a bridge between the debugger uh, and the target uh, JVM the JDWP uh, agent implements the command execution flow um, in this flow the transport manager uh, acts as a gateway for all incoming and uh, uh, outgoing uh, packets the packet dispatcher thread uh, sorry the the packet dispatcher reads incoming commands um, wraps them and transfers uh, to the uh, command dispatcher to find an the appropriate uh, command handler these handlers actually execute commands and then send reply packets to the uh, debugger via the uh, uh, transport manager not uh, the command handlers uh, normally uh, return control after executing the command with the exception of uh, asynchronous handlers the uh, the latter start the separate uh, uh, thread to execute command and return control to control immediately asynchronous handlers are used for jdwp commands that may last long and can be interrupted for example uh, invoke method uh, asynchronous handlers send uh, reply packets to the debugger via uh, transport uh, manager uh, after completing the command if an error occurs during command handling um, that corresponding module forms an error reply packet and send it to the uh, debugger This figure shows the uh, dependencies between major JDWP uh, agent components. Lines uh, show dependencies between components of the agent. Red lines uh, are the gener uh, are for generating events and uh, black lines for command execution. Here you can see debugger is connected to transport manager. Transport manager, package, uh, packet dispatcher, command dispatcher, command handler, uh, event callback, request manager, and event dispatcher are in, inside uh, JDWP agent. Here the transport manager is connected to packet handler. Packet handler is connected to command dispatcher. Command dispatcher is con uh, connected to command handler. Command handler is connected to uh, JVM here, uh, JVM TI. Uh, here, JV, here uh, JVM TI connect, is connected to event callback. Event callback is connected to request handler. Here, command handler is connected to request, uh, sorry, uh, call, uh, event callback is connected to request, uh, request manager. Here, command handler is connected to request manager. Request manager is connected to dispatch manager. Dispatch manager is connected to transport manager. Now we are, uh, here you can see the uh, testing framework in uh, JD, uh, JDWP tests. Um, 
this figure shows the structure of uh, JDWP test. Uh, as shown in this figure, the uh, the supplied JDWP tests uh, go through the following life cycle. One, uh, the JUnit framework launches a test that initializes uh, JPDA testing framework. Two JPDA framework starts the target JVM uh, go into the specified configuration and establishes uh, a JDWP connection using a default or specified uh, transport. A synchronization channel uh, no, three, the uh, synchronization channel is established between the debugger and the debuggy virtual machine if required. Fourth, the testing method is invoked uh, that performs testing on of specific uh, JDWP commands. and event sending JDWT, uh, JDWP packets over the established JDWP connection. Uh, or using the JV, uh, v, uh, using the VM mirror wrapper. The test can use the synchronization channel uh, to synchronize its execution with debuggy class. Five, after the completion of the testing and or generating an error, the testing framework terminates the debuggy. Uh, uh, debuggy JVM and closes all resources used for the uh, this testing session um, before the next session starts. This eliminates the uh, problems with busy socket ports often uh, open often uh, JVM processes or access uh, run, uh, running threads when several tests run in, uh, run in a bundle. JUnit test must follow the na uh, naming policy closely linked with the name and structure of the class being tested. JDWP tests have no Java asterisk cl uh, classes to be tested. Instead, JDWP test operate with the JDWP commands and events, so it makes no sense to name them according to JDWP command names and group them according to JDWP uh, command sets. Uh, the following scheme is used for naming uh, JDWP tests uh, org.apache.harmony.jpda.test.jdwp.commandset.commandtest or uh, and uh, org.apache.harmony.jpda.test.jdwp.events.event.test If several tests are used for one command that required different debug application, the tests are implemented in separate classes and the numerical uh, uh, suffix is added for the class name. For example, org.apache.harmony.jpda.test.jdwp.objectreference.com get values 001 test.java org.apache.harmony.jpda.tests.jdwp.objectreference.get value 002 test.java each JDWP test specifies the debuggy class to be run in a target JVM depending on particular test case tests can share the debuggy class or require individual debuggy classes Here you can see a uh, debugger VM and debuggy uh, VM. Here test JD JPDA framework and uh, VM mirror and connections are inside uh, debugger VM. Test debugger part is connected to JPDA framework. JPDA framework is connected to VM mirror. VM is mirror is connected to connection. Uh, here test debuggy part, JPDA framework, 
JDWPH and then transport uh, inside debug EVM. Uh, here JPDF framework in debug VM uh, is connected to a JPDA uh, framework in debug EVM via sync channel. Here the uh, 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 connection interacts with transport via send. Uh, here the uh, test debugging part is connected to JPDA framework and uh, JDWP agent is connected to transport here. Here now we are considering JDWP agent command flow uh, while running the J uh, JDWP agent. This uh, here we describe the typical flow of the JDWP agent when handling commands received from the debugger. Uh, as shown in this figure, the command packet passes uh, the following stages. One, the transport manager reads the packet and uh, forward it to the packet dispatcher. The packet dispatcher wraps the packet with the command wrapper and forward it to the command dispatcher. 3. Uh, command Dispatcher reads the header of the command packet to identify the JDWP command type, create an instance of the corresponding command handler and passes packet to its handler for execution. Uh, depending, on the, uh, com uh, for, depending on the command handler type, one of the following happens. For synchronous command, uh, the synchronous, synchronous uh, command handler reads data from the command packet uh, uh, execute the command and store the reply uh, data in the reply packet and return it to the packet dispatcher. Uh, the dispatcher then sends the uh, uh, the reply packet to the debugger via uh, the transport manager. For the uh, asynchronous command handler will save the command wrapper for, for the processing, start internal threads to execute the uh, command and uh, it returns the control immediately. Started threads execute the command as in this case of the asynchronous handler and send the reply packet uh, uh, back to the uh, debugger via uh, transport uh, manager. Five certain commands uh, Handles inter uh, handlers interact with the request manager uh, to create uh, or destroy an event request. In this case, the request manager enables or disables the event callbacks for corresponding JVM TI uh, events. Uh, if an error occurs, Corresponding exception is thrown on any face uh, and the uh, calling module stores error info in the reply packets uh, and send it to the debugger via transport manager. This is not shown in the picture in order to simplify the overall scheme. Not Note this figure is simplified not to show that request manager uh, and the uh, command handler call uh, into an object manager uh, and thread manager to get object IDs and the thread info. These calls, uh, these calls into the thread and the object manager are equally relevant for command and event packet flows in the JDWP agent. Here you can see your uh, transport manager, packet dispatcher, command dispatcher, command handler, request manager and JVMTI. Transport manager is connected to packet dispatcher via read packet and uh, packet dispatcher is connected to command dispatcher via wrap command. Pa uh, command dispatcher is connected to uh, command handler via execute command. Then uh, here then uh, command dispatcher is connected to JVMTI uh, via JVMTI functions and here the JVMTI is connected to a command handler via result. 
and here the create um, j uh, command handle is connected to request manager via create request request manager is connected to is connected to step via ist itself via store request and uh, here request manager is connected to jvmta via enable event and jvmta is connected to uh, request manager via result uh, request manager is connected to command handler via result command handler is connected to dispatch manager via re re uh, reply command dispatcher is connected to uh, packet dispatcher via reply and packet dispatcher is connected to transport manager via send reply uh, now we are considering event flow in uh, jdwp uh, agent here we describe the typical sequence of an event passes inside the uh, jdwp agent as shown in this figure an event passes the following stages one uh, J jvmti callback forwards the rest event uh, to the request manager which actually contains the appropriate event handler to the event handler creates an event composer object uh, event composer object around the event packet and fills it with the corresponding data uh, using object uh, manager uh, several events for different uh, event requests can be grouped into the uh, event packet if required three the request manager uh, passes the created event composer uh, to the event uh, dispatcher for the event dispatcher extracts the event packet and send it to the debugger via uh, transport uh, manager if required the, uh, by uh, if, if required by an event dispatch event suspended policy the event dispatcher uses the thread manager uh, to suspend the thread sending the event five uh, if an error occurs during generation of a packet uh, this event is ignored and warning message is printed to the log output this is done because the JDW, uh, JDWP specification does not provide means for reporting event uh, errors. Here you can see a JVMTI, request manager, event composer, object manager, event dispatcher, thread manager and transport manager. JVMTI is connected to a request manager via callback and a re a request then request manager is connected to event composer via create. Here the uh, Event Compose is connected to Object Manager via Map Object ID uh, and uh, my Object Manager is connected to Event Compose via Result and uh, Object uh, Event Composer is connected to itself via Store Data. Event Composer is connected to uh, Request Manager via Sequence uh, Event Packet. Uh, request Manager is connected to uh, Event Dispatcher via Post Event Packet. Uh, event dispatch is connected to thread manager via, then uh, via suspend uh, sorry the, via the suspended thread and thread manager is connected to event dispatcher via result and uh, event dispatch is connected to transport manager via send event packet and transport manager is connected to event dispatcher via result event dispatch is connected to request manager via destroy and request manager is connected to jvmta via continue now we are considering the layout of each packet look like uh, this here uh, JD JDWP packets. The JDWP packets, uh, uh, JD JD JDWP is packet based and it's not uh, stateful. There are three, uh, there are two basic packet types, command packets uh, and uh, reply packets. Command packets uh, may be sent by either debugger to or target VM, they are used to debugger uh, to uh, request information from target VM. 
or to control program execution, command packets are sent by the target VM to notify the debugger of some event in the target VM, such as a breakpoint or exception. A reply packet is sent only in response to command packet uh, and always provides uh, information uh, success or failure of the command. Any uh, reply packets may also carry data request, uh, requested in the command, for example, uh, data value of the field or uh, variable. Currently, events sent from the target VM do not require uh, a response packet from the debugger. JDWP is asynchronous. Multiple command packets may be sent before the first reply packet is uh, uh, received. Command and reply packets headers are equal in uh, size. This is to make transport easier to implement uh, and abstract. The layout of each packets look like this. All fields and uh, data sent via JDWP should be in big uh, Indian format. Uh, first three fields are identical in both packets. Now we are considering uh, command and reply packet fields, uh, shared header fields, uh, length, the length field is the size uh, in bytes of the entire packet, uh, including the length, uh, including the length field. The header size is uh, 11 bytes, so the packet with no data would set this field to 11. ID, uh, the ID. Uh, field is used to uniquely identify each packet command reply pair each packet command uh, each packet command reply pair a reply packet has the same id as the command packet to which it replies this allows asynchronous commands and replies to be matched the id field must be unique um, among all outstanding commands sent from one source the id field must be unique along all outstanding commands sent from one source uh, one source. Outstanding commands originating from the debugger may use the same ID as outstanding commands originating from the target VM. Other than that, there are no requirement on allocation of IDs. A simple monotonic uh, counter should be adequate for most implementation. It will allow 2 to the power 32 uh, unique outstanding packets and is the simplest implementation alternative. Flags uh, flags are used to alter how any command is queued and processed and to tag command packets to that originate from the target VM. There, uh, there, there is currently one flag bits uh, defined. Future versions of protocol may define additional flags. Uh, 0x80 uh, reply packet. The reply bit when set indicates that the packet is a reply. Uh, command packet uh, header fields, the command set. This field is use, uh, useful to means for growing grouping commands in a meaningful way. Sun defined, uh, the sun defined command sets are used to group commands by the interfaces they support in the JDI. For example, all commands that support the JDI virtual machine interface are grouped in uh, virtual machine command set. The command set space is roughly divided as follows. 0 to 62 sets command to this uh, set of commands sent to the target VM. 64 to uh, 127 sets of commands sent to the debugger. 1 to, uh, 1 to 128 to 256 when they are defined commands and ex uh, ex extensions. Commands. This field identifies the particular command in the command set. This field together with the command set field is used to indicate how command packet should be processed. More uh, succinct, uh, succinctly, they will 
they will the receiver what to do they sorry they tell the receiver what to do specific commands are presented later uh, specific commands are presented later uh, pack, uh, reply packet header fields error code uh, this field is used to indicate if the command packet that is being replied to was successfully processed the value of zero indicates success a non zero value indicates an error the error code returns may be specific to each command set command but it is often mapped to a jvmti error code data the data field is unique to each command set command it's also different between command and reply packet pairs for example the command packet that requires a field value will contain references to the object and field ids of the desired value in its data field the reply packets data field will contain the value of the field here you can see the uh, command packet uh, uh, your header and under header length 4 bytes id 4 bytes flags 1 byte command set 1 byte command 1 byte and then data variable here the uh, reply packet under header where uh, length 4 byte id 4 bytes flags 1 byte error code 2 bytes and then uh, data is variable we are focusing on uh, communications channel the communications channel is the link between uh, the front end and back ends of the debugger uh, it can be thought of as uh, consisting of two mechanisms uh, uh, one a uh, connector a connector is a jdi object that is the means by which a connection is established between the front and back ends jpda defines three types of connectors uh, listening connectors the front end listens for an incoming connection from back end attaching connectors the front end attaches to an already running back end launching connectors the front end actually launches the java process that will run the debuggy code and uh, the back end uh, to a transport a transport is the underlying mechanism used to move bits between the front end and the back end the transport mechanism is used uh, the transport mechanism used is uh, unspecified possible mechanisms include sockets serial lines and shared memory however the format and semantics of the serialized bit stream flowing over the channel is uh, specified by the java debug wire protocol jdwp uh, here you can see jdwp uh, messages follow a simple structure uh, jdwp defines messages involved in communications between the debugger and debuggy uh, the jw uh, the jdwp is uh, is packet based and uh, is not stateful there are two basic packet types command packets and reply packets command packets uh, may be sent by either the debugger or the target vm they are used by the debugger to request information from the target vm or to control program execution command packets are sent by the target vm to notify the debugger of some event in the target vm such as a breakpoint or exception a reply packet is sent only in response to a command packet and always provides information success or failure of the command reply packets may also carry data requested in the command for example uh, uh,
the value of the field or, or variable currently events sent from the target vm do not require a response packet from the debugger jdwp uh, is uh, asynchronous multiple command packets may be sent from the first reply packet is received command and uh, reply packet headers are equal in size uh, this is to make uh, transport uh, easier to implement and abstract the layout of each packet looks like this a uh, command packet header uh, uh, length 4 bytes id 4 bytes flags 1 byte command set 1 byte command 1 byte data so variable length uh, reply packet header uh, length 4 byte id 4 byte uh, flag 1 byte error code 2 bytes data variable length uh, all fields and data sent via uh, jdwp should be in big ndn format the first three fields uh, are identical in uh, both packet types uh, uh, shared header fields here uh, length the length uh, field is the size in bytes of the entire packet including the length field the header size is 11 bytes uh, so a packet with no data would send this field to 11 uh, id the id field is used to uniquely identify each packet command reply pair uh, a reply packet has the same uh, id as the command packet to which it replies this allows asynchronous commands and replies to be matched The ID field must be unique among all outstanding commands sent from one source. Outstanding commands originating from the debugger may use the same ID as outstanding command originating from the target VM. Other than that, there are no requirement on the allocation of IDs. A simple monotonic counter should be adequate for most implementation it will allow uh, 2 to the power 32 unique outstanding packets and is simplest is the simplest implementation alternative uh, flags flags are used to alter how many how any command is queued and processed and to tag command packets that originate from the target VM. There is currently one flag bits defined. Future versions of the protocol may define additional flags. 0x80, a reply packet. The reply bit when set indicates that packet is a reply um, 
command packet header fields here command set and command command set this field is useful as a means for grouping commands in a meaningful way the sun defined command sets are used to group commands by the interfaces they support in the JDI. For example, all commands that support the JDI virtual machine interface are grouped in a virtual machine command set. The command set space is roughly divided as follows 0 to 63 sets of command sent to the target VM. 64 to 127 set of sets of commands sent to the debugger 128 to 256 vendor defined commands and extensions command this field identifies a particular command in a command set this field together with the command set field is used to indicate how the command packet should be processed More succinctly, they tell the receiver what to do. Uh, reply packet header field uh, a record. This field is used to indicate if the command packet that is being replied to was successfully processed. A value of zero indicates success. A non-zero value indicates an error. The error code return may be specific to each command set command, but it is often mapped to a JVM TI error code. Uh, data. The data field is unique to each command set command. Uh, it is also different between command and reply packet pairs. For example, a command packet in uh, a, a command packet that request a field value will contain references to the the object and fields IDs for the desired value in its data field. The, the reply packets data field will contain the value of the field. Here you can see the request packet. Request um, header and data are in request packet, length, id, flags, set uh, command set and command are uh, in header here you can see the reply packet header and data are in uh, reply packet length id flags and error code uh, are in header uh, as an example, we can consider Java Debug Wire Protocol. The Java Debug Wire Protocol, JDWP, is the protocol used for communication between a debugger and the Java Virtual Machine, VM, which it debugs. Hereafter, uh, call the target VM. JDWP is optional. It might not be available in some implementations of the JDK. The extension, uh, the existence of JDWP can allow the same debugger to work in a different process on the same computer or on a remote computer function, a uh, remote computer. Uh, uh, as an example too, we can consider this one. This is the last step of uh, of some uh, of the five steps 
when faced with an open JDWP service, arbitrary command execution is exactly five steps away. Uh, these steps are one, uh, fetch Java runtime reference, second, set up breakpoint and wait for notification, a synchronized call, third, allocating a Java string object in runtime to carry out the payload, four, uh, get runtime ob object from breakpoint context, this is five, uh, look up and invoked uh, ex easy method in runtime instance. Uh, the final step is simply looking for uh, um, uh, for the uh, execution uh, exec uh, uh, ex easy method in the uh, runtime uh, static object obtained for the fourth step and invoking it uh, by sending an object reference invoke method packet uh, with the string object. Uh, as an example three, we can consider virtual machine command uh, create a string creates a new string object in the target VM and returns its ID. Uh, out data is a string uh, UTF UTF dash eight characters to use in the created string. Reply data type is string ID and name is string object uh, created a string instance of java dot lang dot string error data the value is vm underscore dead the virtual machine is not running as an example for we can consider uh, to uh, to debug an application using jdwp the Java debug wire protocol JDWP is very useful for debugging applications as well as applets. Um, step one to uh, debug an application using JDWP. Step one, uh, open the command line and set the path environment variable to JDK forward slash bin where JDK is the installation directory of the JDK. Uh, step uh, two, use the following command to run the application called test in this example. Uh, yeah. Um, which you want to debug uh, on Windows it's a uh, Java uh, dash X debug dash X run JDWP colon transport equal DT underscore SH MEM command address equal debug comma server equal Y comma suspend equal Y test uh, on uh, Oracle server and Linux operating system it's uh, Java dash X debug dash uh, X run JDWP colon transport equal DT underscore socket comma address equal 8888 8, 8, 8, 8, comma server equal Y comma suspend equal Y and test the test class uh, will start in the debugging mode and wait for the debugger to uh, attach to it at address uh, debug on Windows or 8888 
on Oracle, Solaris, and Linux operating systems. Uh, step three, uh, open another command line and use the following command to run JDB and attach it to the running debug server. On Windows, it's uh, JDB dash attach debug. On Oracle, Solaris and Linux operating system, it's JDB uh, dash attach 8888. After JDB initializes and attaches uh, to test, uh, you can perform Java level debugging. Step four, uh, set your breakpoints and uh, run application. Run the application. For example, set the breakpoint at the beginning of the main method in test. Uh, run the following command stop in test dot main run when the jdb utility hits uh, the breakpoint you will be able to inspect the environment in which the application is running and see if it's functioning as expected uh, expected number five is optional and to perform native level debugging along with Java level debugging, use native debuggers to attach to the Java process running with JDWP. On uh, Oracle Solaris, you can use the DBX utility and on Linux, you can use the JD, uh, GDB utility. In Windows, you can use Visual Studio for native level debugging as follows. Step one, open Visual Studio. Step 2, open the debug menu, select attached, attached to process, select Java process that is running with JDWP. Step 3, on the project menu, select settings and open the debug tab. In the category drop down list, select additional DLLs and add the native DLL that you want to debug. For example, test.dll, open the source file one or more of test.dll and set your breakpoints. Step 5. Type cont in the JDB window. The process will hit the breakpoints in Visual Studio. As example 5, we can consider this example here. For example, to launch the v JVM with debug options, uh, to listen on an address, we use this uh, following options with the Java executable. The dash uh, agent lib colon jdwp with comma separated key value sub options instruct uh, the JVM to uh, uh, load the jdwp agent and wait for a socket connection on port 8000 here's what each sub option does transport equal dt underscore sockets uh, tells the jdwp agent to use socket transport server equal y means that the jvm will listen for a debugger to attach to it uh, suspend equal y means jvm will wait for the debugger to attach uh, before executing the executing uh, the main class uh, this is also the default value if set to n the jvm will not immediately execute the main class while listening for a debugger connection Address equal 8000 specified the address at which the debug socket will listen. In this case, the JVM will listen at the port 8000 for incoming connection only from the local host. Starting at JDK9. Here, uh, dash agent lib colon JDWP 
and no equal sub options uh, loads the jd pa um, jpda reference implementation of jdw uh, p this library resides in the target vm and uses jvm uh, ti and jni to interact with it it uses transport and jdwp protocol to communicate with the separate debugger specific uh, debugger application uh transport sub option uh, name of the transport to use in connecting to debugger application here uh server sub option if why um listen to listen for a debugger application to attach otherwise uh attached to the debug application at the specified uh, specifies uh, specified uh, address uh suspend sub option if why uh vm start event has a suspend policy of suspend underscore all if no if n uh vm start event has a suspend policy of suspended uh, suspend underscore non address sub option transport address for the connection uh if server equal n attempt to attach to the debug application at this address uh if server equal y listen for the connection at this address as an uh, exception uh, here we are considering a package uh, com.sun.jdi.connect.spi uh, in module uh, jdk.jdi this package comprises the interfaces and classes used to develop new uh, transport service implementations uh, now we are considering uh, developing a transport implementation in java debug wire protocol transport interface jdwp transport uh, the uh, jw jdwp uh, transport.h java debug wire protocol transport service provider interface a transport uh, library can be developed uh, using any native language uh, that supports c language calling conventions and c or c++ definitions the function uh, data type and constant uh, definitions needed for using jdwp transport interface are defined in the include file uh, jdwp uh, transport.h to use this definition at the java c include directory to your include path now we are considering transport startup uh, the callback argument is the uh, uh, is a pointer function uh, the callback argument is a, uh, a pointer function pointer to a function uh, fu table of memory management routines that transport uh, must use to allocate the memory for uh, return values that are allocated by the transport implementation the function uh, the uh, type def is uh, struct jdwp transport callback void uh, strict allo strict allocate uh, in j int uh, num bytes and uh, etc uh, j this is the jdwp functions uh, called by the uh, transport uh call this for all allocations and uh, call this for all d allocations the transport library must uh, export uh, an uh, onload function with the following prototype here 
the function will be called by JDWP uh, or other agent when the library is loaded. The uh, JVM argument is the JNI invocation interface obtained by a by agent by invoking JNI's get java uh, vm function the uh, callback argument is the is a pointer to a function table of memory management routings that transport must use to allocate the memory for return values that are allocated by the transport implementation the uh, the uh, the lifespan of the uh, callback argument uh, is the onload function uh, and therefore the transport must take a copy of the function table in the JW, jdwp transport onload function the function table has two entries the uh, alloc function allocates an area of memory it has a single uh, argument to specify the number of bytes to allocate it returns a pointer to the beginning of the allocated memory or null if the memory request cannot be honored. If the number of bytes requested is zero, then null is returned. If the free function deallocates an area of memory that was previously allocated using alloc function, the memory management functions provided by uh, the agent are thread safe and the transport implementation is not required to synchronize calls to these functions. The implementation of memory management functions are guaranteed uh, not to call any JDWP uh, transport function. The uh, version is the version of the transport interface that the agent expects. This must be uh, specified as uh, jdwp transport underscore version underscore one underscore zero env is a pointer to the to the fun uh, through the function pointer returned by the uh, function the jdwp uh, transport onload function returns uh, jni uh, underscore okay if the tra transport initializes successfully If the, if the initialization fails, then one of the following errors are returned. JNI uh, ENO mem, JNI E version, JNI E uh, exits, exist, JNI E ENO mem, uh, ENO mem is returned if there is uh, insufficient memory to complete initialization. JNI E version is returned if the version of the version argument is uh, not JWP uh, uh, T uh, sorry JDWP uh, transport underscore version underscore one underscore zero. JNI E exist is returned if the transport only support a single environment and the environment pointer was previously returned by the first call to the onload function. Now we are considering attach the uh, in connection man management in functions. Function 
JWP transport error uh, attach JWP transport uh, ENV strict can uh, ENV constant uh, cha point uh, cha cha strict address J long attached uh, timeout uh, J long handshake timeout attaches the uh, debugger attach, uh, attaches the uh, debugger attaching to a debugger involve two steps first a connection is established to speci to the specified uh, address once connection is established the ha a handshake uh, uh, is performed to ensure that the connection is in uh, connection is indeed established to the debugger Handshaking involves exchange of ASCII string to JDWP handshake as specified in the Java debug wire protocol specification. The address argument uh, is appointed to a string representing uh, the address of the debugger. The exact format is specified to the transport in the case of a TCP IP based transport address may include hostname port number to of the debugger. In the case of transport that supports connections through a serial port, it might be the device name. Uh, it might be the device name of the serial port. The attached timeout argument specify the is specify a timeout to use when attaching. If the transport supports the attached timeout, and if the attached timeout is uh, positive, then the, then it then it specify the timeout in milliseconds, more or less, to use when attaching the debugger. If the transport does not support an attached timeout, or if the attached timeout timeout is specified as zero, then a timeout is not used when attaching. The handshake timeout argument is specified a timeout to use when the handshaking with the debugger. If the transport supports a handshake timeout, and if the handshake timeout is positive, then it it is it is specified the timeout in milliseconds more or less to use when the handshaking with the debugger. Exact usage of the handshake timeout is uh, specify is specific to the transport. For example, one implementation may use the timeout as an inter-character uh, inter timeout while waiting for the JDW, JDWP handshake uh, message from the debugger. Another implementation may use the timeout to indicate that uh, the total duration allowed to handshake uh, exchange. In general purpose of the handshake timeout is to allow the for error handling in the uh, event that support connects to so something other than the valid debugger. If the transport does not support the handshake timeout, or if the handshake timeout is specified as zero, then a timeout is not used when handshaking. This function returns a universal error, uh, or one of the following errors. JWP transport error illegal argument jwp transport error illegal state jwp transport error to io error jwp transport error timeout jwp transport error in, uh, illegal argument is returned if the address is uh, invalid or timeout is negative uh, jwp uh, transport error illegal state is returned if the tra transport is currently in listen mode or there is already an open connection to the debugger. JWP uh, transport error, IO error is returned if the, there is an error other than attach timeout attaching the, to the debugger. Note that errors during the startup handshake including the handshake timeout uh, are considered IO errors. IO errors are specific to the transport. Uh, Get last error can be used to obtain string representation of the error. JWP error timeout is returned if the tra transport supports an attached timeout and if the attached timeout uh, value is positive and if the connection to the debugger cannot be established within the attached timeout period. Um, now we are considering uh, read packet uh, in io functions the function jwp uh, transport uh, error read packet jwp uh, transport env strict uh, env and jwp packet pointer packet uh, reads a jwp packet from an open connection to a debugger 
reads a JWT packet from an open connection to a debugger. Uh, this function uh, does blocking does a blocking read uh, on an open connection. It uh, blocks indefinitely until a complete JDWP packet can be returned or, or in the case of transport based on a stream oriented protocol and the end of stream is encountered. The packet argument uh, is the address of the JDWP packet uh, structure that is populated uh, by this uh, function. The packet dot type uh, um, oh, sorry packet dot type uh, dot uh, cmd Uh, cmd dot uh, len or packet dot uh, uh, type dot uh, reply dot len field uh, depending on the on on if the packet is uh, command or reply packet. Um, is populated with the length of the packet. If the end of stream is encountered, uh, the length field will be set to zero or, and all other fields in the packet will be undefined. If the end of stream is encountered after the reading, the reading sum, uh, but not all, not all byte of the packet is considered an IO error and JWP uh, JDWP uh, transport error to IO error will be returned. In the case of the length field will not be populated. Uh, when uh, when the entire packet is read, then all fields in the packet are populated with values in the host order. This may or may not differ from begin the endian uh, order require when transmitting JDWP packets. The uh, packet dot uh, type dot uh, cmd dot uh, data uh, or packet uh, dot uh, type dot uh, reply dot data uh, field depending on the uh, on, uh, depending on if the packet is a command or reply packet uh, will be populated with null or a pointer to the packet data allocated by this function. Packet data is allocated using a pack, uh, allocation callback provided to the transport when the JDWP transport onload function was called. The uh, caller is responsible for to free it. The layout of the packet data that is the data following the header, if any, is returned to the caller of the in the byte ordering in which it was received. The read packet function uh, does not do any uh, integrity checking on the return packet, except uh, um, checking that the length of the packet, as indicated by the first four bytes. Uh, is uh, greater than or equal 11 byte. If the length field is less than 11 byte, then JD JDWP uh, uh, transport error, IO error is returned. The function returns an universal error uh, or one of the following errors J JDWP transport error, IO error, JDWP, JDWP uh, transport error, illegal state, JWP transport error, illegal uh, argument. JWP transport error IO error is returned if the IO error occurs when reading the connection is uh, closed asynchronously by another thread calling close function or badly format packet length feed less than 11 bytes uh, is received. IO errors are specific to the uh, uh, transport. 
get last error can be used to obtain a string representing the error jwp jdwp transport error illegal state is returned if there is there isn't an open connection to the debugger jdwp uh, transport error illegal argument is returned if the packet is null Uh, now we are considering uh, get last error the in miscellaneous functions the function uh, jdwp tra transport error uh, get last error jdwp transport uh, environment pointer env and char point uh, asterisk asterisk uh, msg uh, returns the string representation of the last error when an error occurs it is recorded on the per thread basis, uh, subsequent call to get last error returns uh, a string representation of the last IO error. The uh, MSG argument is a pointer to a null terminated uh, string returned uh, by this function. A string is allocated using the allocation callback pointer to the transport when the JDWP uh, transport onload uh, function is called. The caller is responsible to free the returned string. The function returns a universal error or one of the following errors JDW, JDWP transport error MSG not available JDWP, T, uh, JDWP transport error MSG not available is returned if this thread has not encountered an IO error or then there is an interesting representation of the last error available. Now we are considering uh, universal errors the error jdwp transport uh, jwp transport error none no error uh, has occurred this is uh, the error code that is returned on uh, successful completion of a function now we are considering uh, example scenarios in uh, service provider interfaces in uh, java platform debugger architecture uh, uh, the service provider interfaces and native transport interfaces are expected to be used by the following uh, classes of users uh, debugger and tool vendors that need to develop new launching connector implementation or wish to provide additional support options for remote debugging over and beyond the TCP IP and shared memory transport provided by Oracle and the next point uh, embedded device operating system or virtual machine that require remote debugging using transport that uh, than uh, tcp ip uh, now we are considering uh, developing a connector connectors that uh, uh, that wish to make uh, use of or oracle provided transports uh, uh, should load the transport service using code such as following the class transport service in package com.sun.jdi.connect.spi in module jdk jdi a transport service for a connections between a debugger and a target vm a developing a connector uh, involves creating concrete implementation of launching connector attaching connector or listening listening connector the every connector implementation must have a public NOAA constructor in addition to implementing the connector methods the const uh, the constructor will be called by the java virtual machine manager during initialization the constructor may be a no op or it may perform initialization tasks such as loading a transport service. The constructor does not throw any checked exception, so any problems during initialization should be thrown as an error or other unchecked exceptions. Connections are not required to use transport service. 
uh, some connectors may connect to the Java target VM using a mechanism other than transport. For connectors that use transport service implemented uh, uh, trans uh, transport service implementation of the connector can either reference transport service implementation directly. Uh, or it can load the implementation at runtime. Connectors that wish to make use of Oracle Poder Transport should load the transport service using code such as following. Uh, the, Java, the Java C implementation are not required to include Oracle socket or shared memory transport port service implementation so in the above example error will be thrown if the transport service does not exist assuming that the connector is known when uh, then the following item should be noted when developing the implementation the list of connected or arguments should be carefully considered some connector implementation the default argument construction and pairing may be the bulk of the code in the implementation a connector is required to name the transport that the, that it uses if the implementation uses existing transport service then uh, the rec uh, recommended transport name is the name of the underlying transport service that is the connectors transport implementation returns a transport which for which the name method returns the java.land.string representation uh, the representing the name of transport the most connector implementation will uh, establish the connection to a target vm once established the connectors launch attach and accept method will return a virtual machine instance not to the deep debugger to facilitate the creation of virtual machine mirror the virtual machine manager has a method to create virtual machine Uh, now we are considering de deploying a connector in order to deploy the uh, deploy this you create a file uh, uh, meta dash inf for slash uh, services for slash com dot sun dot jn uh, jdi dot connect dot connector similar to the uh, following to deploy a connector required a packaging uh, the pa packaging the class for classes for the connector implementation into a jar file along with the service configuration file that lists the fully qualified class uh, name of the connector the jar file uh, uh, the jar file is then deployed uh, in a location that is visible to the system class loader uh, the service configuration file must be must in, uh, be uh, included in the jar file is named uh, meta dash i uh, inf for slash services uh, for slash com dot sun dot jdi dot connector dot connector the file simply uh, lists the fully qualified class names of the connector included in the jar file uh, the multiple connect implementation may be included in the same jar file uh, uh, and in that case the class name each for each connector is listed in the separate line uh, suppose you wish to deploy a launching connector name simple launch connector in order to deploy this uh, you need uh, you create a file meta dash inf for slash services for dash for slash com dot sun dot jdi dot connect dot connector similar to the following here the service configuration file this then packed into a jar file along with the classes that comprises the the implementation of the connector the uh, the jar file is then copied into the location that is uh, visible uh, uh, to the syst uh, syst uh, to the system class loader once deployed the connector will be located by the debugger when the debugger is re restarted uh, 
that is the simple launching connector will be included in the list of connectors returned by the java virtual by the virtual machines managers all connectors method in addition as this is a launcher connector it will also appear on the list of launching connectors returned by the launching connectors method now we are considering uh, developing a trans uh, de developing a transport service developing a transport service required the uh, requires developing two components a, a concrete implementation of com.sun.jdi.connect.spa.transport service a debugging side uh, a debuggy side shared library that implements the jdwp transport interface uh, The development of transport service requires a high degree of uh, familiarity with the transport and underlying communication protocol. The transport service essentially binds JDWP to an underlying communication protocol. Uh, the service that it provides is reliable and JDWP packets are exchanged between the debugger and debuggy without uh, duplication or data loss. Given that the package uh, pa packets must be exchanged in a reliable manner might mean that additional protocol supported a support must be included in the transport service or the beyond that provided by the underlying communication protocol for example if the debuggy over a row and uh, unreliable serial connection is required then the transport service implementer may be required to build in error detection and recovery in the implementation to ensure the jdwp packets can be reliably transported between debugger and the debuggy uh, now we are considering uh, deploying a transport service uh in the case of a transport service uh, com dot sun dot uh, uh serial transport service uh then the service configuration file will be similar to the uh, following the transport service is uh, is uh, uh, deployed uh, a transport service is deployed in a similar manner to the connector deploying a transport service required a packaging the classes for the transport service implementation into a jar file uh, along with the service configuration file that uh, lists the fully qualified class name of the transport service the jar file then uh, is then de uh, deployed on a location that is visible to the uh, system class loader the configuration file must uh, be used in the jar file is named uh, meta-inf forward slash services forward slash com dot sun dot jdi dot connect dot spa dot transport service uh, as per connector deployment uh, the configuration file may list the classes uh, class so names of multiple transport service implementation in the event with that the jar file includes multiple implementations in the case of transport service that com dot uh, sun dot uh, serial transport service uh, then uh, service configuration file will be similar to the uh, following the service configuration file is then packaged into the jar file uh, along with the classes that comprise the implementation for example we will assume that the implementation involves, involves a number of classes as per the deployment of connectors uh, the jar file is uh, then copied into the location that is uh, visible to the system class loader the transport service may uh, have native methods or re rely on other apis that requires a native library in that case uh, the native li library must be the location that allows it to be uh, loaded using system dot load library the later uh, native transport library is loaded by the jdwp agent it must uh, be located in the normal runtime library path for the operating systems for example on solar solaris and linux or linux systems it must must be search path specified by the ld library under uh, path environment variable serial line transport here uh now we are considering java debug wire protocol 
and the overview of the uh, overview in Java Debug Wire protocol. The Java Debug Wire protocol, JDWP, is the uh, protocol used for communication between debugger and the Java Virtual Machine VM, which it be, uh, debugs. Hereafter called the target VM. Uh, JD, uh, JDWP is optional. It might not be available in some implementation of the JDK. The existence of JDWP uh, can allow the uh, same debugger to work in different processes on the same computer or on remote computer. The JDWP differs from the many protocol specification uh, in that it only details format and layout, not transport. Uh, the uh, JDWP uh, implementation can be designed to accept different transport mechanisms through the uh, to a simple API. A particular transport does not necessarily uh, support each of the debugger target VM combinations listed uh, listed before. The JDWP is designed to be simple enough for easy implementation, yet it is flexible enough for future growth. Currently, the JDWP does not specify any mechanism for transport. Uh, Rendezvous so or any directory services. This may be changed in the future. It might, it may be addressed in separate document uh, in the documentations. The uh, JDWP is one layer within the Java platform debug architecture JD, JPDA. This architecture also contains the high-level Java debug interface JDI. The JDWP is designed to facilitate efficient use by the JDI. Many of its abilities are tailored to that end. The JDI is more appro appropriate than uh, JDWP for many uh, debugger tools, particularly those written in Java programming language. Now we are considering JDWP startup. Uh, a handshake process has the following steps. Debugger side sends uh, 14 byte to the uh, VM side consisting uh, uh, of the 14 ASCII characters of the string JDWP handshake. The VM side uh, replies with the same for 14 bytes JDWP handshake. Now we are considering uh, uh, shared header fields uh, in command and reply packet fields. The, the shared here the shared header fields uh, field length. The length field is the size uh, in bytes of the entire packet, uh, including the length field. The header size is the 11, uh, 11 bytes, so a packet with no data would set this field to 11. Now we are considering uh, byte in detail command information. Uh, the common data type byte, a byte value, size is uh, 1 byte. Uh, now we are considering uh, virtual machine command set uh, in uh, Java debug wire protocol details. The version uh, uh, here the version command returns a JDWP version implemented by the target VM. The, uh, the version string is the version string format is implementation dependent. We can consider the exception this is a thrown exception in uh, reply reply data uh, in uh, tagged dash objects id in invoke method command in jdwp protocol uh, as an error example we can consider this one uh, fatal error in native method uh, jdwp no transcripts initial uh, initialized jvmti error equal agent error agent underscore error underscore transcript uh, transport underscore init error transport uh, error 202 connection connect failed connection refused error jdwp transport dt underscore socket failed to initialize uh, transport underscore init JDWP exit error agent error uh, underscore error underscore transport underscore init no transports initialized. Now we are focusing on 